How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to this video of me testing some of the new potions uh, that came out with the L-City. Uh, so first off, I'm trying these Supreme Overload potions uh, throughout the entire uh, video, but I also tried out the Bright Fire potions uh, later on. Uh, so as you can see, I started off with a Corpse Solo that started very well and ended up being quite horrendous. Wasn't meant to be a model kill, but I was just testing it out. Didn't notice a big difference uh, at Corp. Um, but yeah, I just tried it out at a Corp kill, and then later on in this video, I did some Queen Black Dragon, uh, where, spoiler alert, it made a massive difference. It was incredible. Um, and then after that, I went and did some PKing, where it was pretty interesting there as well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what the middle of that kill was. But that was uncharacteristically horrendous. Like, I'm usually horrendous, but I've never... That, that's, that's the worst Corp solo I've ever been a part of. Oh, that was abysmal. And then a abysmal loot to go with abysmal corp kill. That seems about right. <laughs> Gold charms and a mystic fire staff. Uh, but yeah, there's your supreme overload potions. That definitely made a massive difference. Um, okay, so after that, I went to the queen black dragon, and this was the interesting part. Uh, I had nothing that gave me like a strength bonus. Like I was wearing Tetsu, which is tank gear, uh, and my dragors. And I drank this potion, so I also drank the Bright Fire Potion, which is a potion that combines a Super Anti-Fire and a Prayer Renewal, which is just very convenient. Uh, and this was absolutely great. As you can see, I'm tearing up the QBD. And not only that, uh, note how much food I eat during the kill, like actually during the kill. Just note that uh, while you're watching. Uh, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about how you actually make these potions. Basically, none of these require anything to do with Dungeoneering. I know some of the potions do, but these ones do not. You just basically need to pay a price to purchase the recipe from uh, one of the ladies in the elf city. Uh, so there goes the first kill, a decent loot. And then I ate some food to heal up, and then, yeah, you'll watch the second kill. Um, but pretty much the great thing about these potions is, for example, for the Bright Fire potion, you take a four-dose Super Anti-Fire, and you take a four-dose Prayer Renewal, and you turn it into a six-dose flask of both. So effectively, you're taking four doses of Super Anti-Fire, adding a Prayer Renewal, and you're turning it into six doses uh sorry like six uh yeah six doses of both together so it's very very convenient i made about 200 of these for any time i'm killing the qbd just because that's that's awesome um so yeah anyways at this point um i actually went and did some pking so i'm just going to sort of highlight the big hits that happened that probably wouldn't happen without these potions uh but for the queen black dragon it made a massive difference i didn't eat a single food during either of those kills uh and yeah i actually managed to make about a mil just in the first six seven eight minutes of this video which is pretty nice uh but yeah, anyway on to the peking good luck brother oh that was a big fucking hit and good job man it's gonna be better this time okay killed oh shit yeah you're dead see ya mate and offhand, dead hand. Oh, 500 flat. Uh, oh my god. A 536? Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, wasn't done. Oh, we killed him. Hey, look at that. Alright. At any rate, these overloads do get you kills. I'd pop up another revenge, but pointless. Now it isn't. Good fight! Whew. That was a massive hit. Let's do some quick math. Because I'm pretty sure if I saw that correctly, my Venge hit a 388. Okay? Do some do some hashtag crystal math right here. Uh, my Venge hit a 388, which would mean. One second, let me get out of the wilderness first. If my Venge indeed hit a 388, that would mean 388. Um, there it is. 5 by 0.75 times 100. That would have been a 517 hit had he had the HP. So that would have been a 517. That's a that's got to be a spec that I'm happy with. All right, I'm gonna end this video off with a clear display on this guy's part of the Supreme Overload potions at their absolute best. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna start off with that, and then I've got a little blooper. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer just about anything. Uh, but yeah, the point of this is just to show you guys a little bit about uh, the, the combination potions, how they work, and actual application of them in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. And as always, peace. One spec bar go up. Oh, come